These are mod seven on the infuse, so you know I gotta do what the people want. And uh that's what this video is about. So basically again the video is about how to flash the energy mod seven on the infuse. Um so let's get started. Let me readjust the camera a little bit. Get it. You know, guys, I've got a like a ADHD camera. It doesn't want to focus, so that's a little bit better. I don't know how I got that, but okay. Anyway. So first thing you want to do is you want to download the files. I already have a link to those files in my um <sighs> review of the CNG Mod 7 ROM. And uh so if you hop over to that video, go ahead and download those links. I should have two links. I'm gonna bring the screen a little closer to the camera so you can see the part where you need to see and it can focus in. But um you should download those. You should have the ROM downloaded and the gaps downloaded. All of those are in my media fire account, and you can have the links to both those files in the other video, the review of Sienna Jamon. So if you want, pause the video, hop over to um to that video, get the link, get your downloads and stuff, and put them on your phone, your SD card, whatever. Bring them back over, and uh, we can start from there. So, assuming that you've done that, let's go over to uh, install zip from SD card. Like you, you know, flashing a normal ROM. I'm going to be explaining this for, like, assuming that you've never flashed, flashed a ROM period before, even though most of you guys have and just wanted to learn how to do it for Sienna Mod. It's not that hard, but I'm just going to be speaking in basic terms, so don't, like, you know, get mad at me for, you know, assuming that you guys are stupid or anything like that. I'm not. It's just if a person wants to watch this video and then they don't know anything about it, then, you know, I want them to be able to understand what I'm saying and know what I'm talking about because, you know, everybody starts somewhere. And, um, you know, a lot of times people don't understand, so. You just click, go to your, wherever your ROM is located. Personally, mine's in my download folder, so. First thing first, I want to flash this. Um, there it is. It's if you got it for me, it's going to be called update cm seven point one point zero infuse four G Kane um, two thousand eleven September the first dash one eighty two or one oh two or something like that. Whatever, flash it. Go down. Yes, let that do its thing. Um, I'm not, usually you guys know that my videos are taken at my desk, today it isn't, it's, uh, I'm in the living room just as a change of pace, um, and the camera's gonna might be a little shaky because I'm holding it myself, so, as usual for my iPad. This ROM flashes really quick, so, and it's done. So, this is what happens if you just flash the ROM. So, we flash the ROM. We're done. So, you want to go back. And so, let's reboot our system. Samsung screen comes up. This is what you do when that happens. Turn your device. And um, take your... Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. But you want to open up the back and take your battery out. Immediately after you flash it and get to the Samsung screen. Pull this out. The battery. Put it back in like usual as it should be and put your battery cover back on like so you know normal power the device back on see the Samsung screen good now you're good to go always when you're flashing the engine mod at least this build do a battery pull when you get to the Samsung screen There you go, Sienna Mod. You have your little Android guy um, on a skateboard, you know, Sienna Engine's a boot screen. So, your wallpaper might not be the same when you first flash, who knows. So, um, as you guys know, Steve Jobs died yesterday. May he rest in peace. Anyway, uh, this application, Titanium Backup, is, you know, uh, you might, you guys might get that, you might not, who knows. So, this is what happens. You flashed. Now you go into your app drawer. You've got your browser, email, messaging, you know, the regular stuff. But a few things are missing. Such as maps, YouTube, and the marketplace. Anything that's Google related is gone. You know, look for it. It's nothing it's not in here, guys. So what you need to do 
Well, ha I'll explain why this is. Basically, since CyanogenMod is one of the main custom ROMs for Android, you know, Google has uh, banned him from using, you know, putting their ROMs on his, um, their apps in his ROMs. Well, you know, in order to keep, you know, making ROMs, he didn't, he does not put any Cyanogen, um, mod, doesn't put any, uh, any, um, Google apps in his ROMs. You have to flash them yourself. So, they're easy to find. They're called GAPS. G-A, G-A-P-P-S, GAPS short for Google Apps. And um you can find the whole zip file on the internet different places. In this video I've you know got your link. You should have downloaded them already in the other um video. So make sure those are on your SD card. So this is again this is just demonstrating what happens when you just flash them on. And that's the explanation why. So now you want to reboot and go back into recovery. Crap. I meant he'll go in recovery, but I just went to regular, so let's hold all three buttons together. Hopefully my device will go back into um, recovery or else I'll have to just reboot all the way back and then uh, see now it's rebooting all the way. So give me a second, guys. I'm just going to reboot back into recovery. I meant I pressed regular reboot instead of rebooting the recovery, which is what I meant to do. So let's try that one more time. Force close. Um, reboot into recovery. There we go. So now it's rebooting. And um, It's uh, you should be either in red or orange recovery. It doesn't matter. In Cyanogen mod, some ROMs you need to be in a certain recovery, like orange or red or blue. There's different colors. See, now I'm in orange. If you do the three button reboot, which is whole power button, volume up and volume down, you go into red re um, reboot. So it, it it really doesn't matter for this ROM. So install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. So it's just like flashing a ROM, guys, except it's not a ROM. It is the gaps.zip. You, when you flash a zip, you, it doesn't have to be a ROM. It can be anything. It could be a theme. It could be different stuff when you flash a zip. So don't think clockwork is just for flashing zip um, ROMs. It's for flashing zips and other things. So I need to go to my downloads folder where you put your gaps at. That's where mine are at. So don't think, you know, yours are going to be exactly where mine are at. And then flash gaps dot dash gb dot zip. Yes, install gaps. And see there it says right here, install on Google Apps. So now, just want to go back. So I'm gonna press the back button. I'm gonna reboot my system. The thing is with gaps, guys, sometimes you may have to um, flash them more than once because it may not catch the first time. I've had that happen plenty of times. One time I had to flash my gaps like four times just to get it to, you know, get my Google Apps to appear. So if it doesn't appear the first time, you know, don't freak out. Just keep trying it about four or five times. If it doesn't work, then message me and I'll see. So we'll see if this flashed the first time. Sometimes you get, you know, lucky or whatever and it'll flash the first time. But um, sometimes not. It all depends. So now it's um, you know booting up. The ROM's booting up. There we go. All right, backup data. Um, let's just finish the setup. Um, da -da -da. So as you can see, if you're welcome with the Google account screen. You're uh, you're good. That means your gaps flashed. So uh, I'm just going to fly through this. I'm not going to be doing any sp anything specific as far as uh, um, you know setting up anything. Okay, so you got YouTube. That's a gap. You got Marketplace. That's a gap. Google search. There's another gap. And Gmail. 
those are your main four gaps.